Okay, welcome back. This is going to be part four of my solar challenge series. I've just completed one there. One of the challenges that is. And so I've made a cobble generator, so I've also completed that one. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna mark these off, but you know, never mind I have finished that one. Um got a somewhere here I've got to build a house. We don't have to build a house. But you gotta make a house that has windows and you've got to build a chimney for it. Yeah, never mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of all this wool because I have no need to carry 26 wool with me. And then I'm gonna run over and finish my little It's not really a mob grinder. And you know I do intend to try and make some way of it making it easy for me to automatically kill mobs and go up in levels. But at this stage I think it's going to be more of just a place that I can go and have mobs die and then have the dead mobs give me stuff. And that's a very unsophisticated way of explaining it but that's pretty much what it is that I'm looking for. I think I'm also going to try and take this little bridge here off in the direction of Mercury. that way. I'll fill the rest of this in. Looks like it's... where's that sun? Okay, the sun's just about to set, so I don't think it'll be too long and mobs are going to want to start spawning here, so I have to do my thing reasonably quickly. By getting rid of the overhang, that also means that if there's any spiders, they won't be able to spawn and climb up. That's a good thing. So where were we? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'll put some torches around here. Don't want to make it too bright that mobs won't spawn. That should be perfect. So there's my little... I wouldn't really call it a mob trap, but yeah, like I said, that's my little area where I can safely get down to the mobs. And I would be amazed and surprised at the same time if they were able to knock me off. Also, it's like a nice bit of a walkway so that I can get myself ready to come down this way and not jump off the edge of the world. I actually build a bit of a bit of a barricade over this side too, just to stop the same thing happening. That should be good. That should help stop me from doing something really stupid. Come on, I'm still looking here and I'm still not getting any watermelon, which is very disappointing. Thankfully I've been having enough of that rotten flesh to sustain me. Um, just whack it on you, bit of bone meal. Now I have three fully grown watermelon stalks. And it's just going to be a matter of time before I get some watermelons. Knock. Yeah, I think I'll knock these couple off. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to build it around yet, but I'll build it however it takes my fancy. So now we're going to put a bit of a platform here. So we'll be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill that in. So now we have a nice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a nice seven by seven platform here. Typical, wouldn't you know? I haven't got anywhere near enough cobble. And then I will use this to build a little 7x7 seven seven wood house. And then once I build that little 7x7 seven seven wood house, 
I'm going to put some windows in it. And I'm going to get the sand for the windows from Venus. Probably leave that till morning though, because I'm thinking that I'll be able to look over there and see some mobs very soon. <coughs> they might not be quite close enough for them to load up yet, but they're definitely close enough that they'll spawn there. Okay, so once again I'm going to just pause this video and I'm going to come back once I've got 64 cobble. So hold on and stay tuned. Okay, video back on. I didn't actually get the 64 stack of cobble that I was hoping for, but I broke my pick. So, rather than keep doing this by myself and make a new pick and do that sort of stuff, I'll stick with the guidelines of what I was working with up until this point, which is the only thing I'm going to do off camera is mine cobble. So I've now filled that in. I'll come back over here, make use of two more sticks and some of the cobble I got. Ta-da! New pick. Ooh, and watermelon get. Ah! Crap it, crap it, crap it, I broke my seeds. Okay, that is about the worst thing that could have happened. Got three seeds from it though, which isn't a bad thing, but I can't believe... Okay, lucky I've got plenty more bone meal. Yeah, that was a bad thing. Um, now we need to go back over here. We'll do the same thing here. Plant a seed. A little bit of bone meal. So that'll give me four melons. What I'm going to try and aim to do is... Yeah, I've got plenty of cobble. I'll set this up over here. So that if I put two more blocks of dirt in, and then I can put a piece of cobble like that. And knock you down, knock you down, knock you down. I'll be able to use my bucket that I have just here and make sure that water stays nice and hydrated. Infinite spring. Um, because anything it will stay hydrated within four blocks, so we can now go sort of one, two, three, four. We can now make even two more pieces of dirt. That would give me six six watermelons worth. So one there, one there. And what I will do is in my chest here I will keep at least one watermelon to act as a backup. And the rest is gonna be food for my tummy so I can stop eating that stupid rotten flesh <coughs> okay so things are coming along nicely now I'm very soon gonna have six of those 62 planks now this particular style of house I have adapted from the videos of Chimney Swift 11 so I'll put a link to that in my YouTube page as well he calls it a Pueblo style house I think something like that so I'm not going to you know totally stick with his house I'm going to make it a, a different size because he makes his houses 6x6 six six, and I'm going to once again sorry for the darkness I'm going to make this a 7x7 seven but it's going to be close enough that anyone watching should be able to see the similarities and I don't want people to go, ah, oh, you know, you copied off him, you copied you know, I think, you know copying someone's idea is a well, you know, it's showing that it's a pretty good idea and I, I like the way this house looks and I think it's a nice simple house 
and hopefully you guys will feel the same way and you'll like it as well. Now I've got to just don't want to fall off the edge there, so I'll throw a little bit more in. These bits of light I'm just going to add now are just temporary. Um, yep. So here we go. These are just to kind of keep things lit up until I get things finished. So what you end up with with this house is a sort of a stepped roof that comes up, at least in my design, it comes up to a point. And once you get to that point, you have spot to put a torch on top to stop things spawning on top of your house and you've also got uh, you've also got a nice little sort of area that you can be safe within now I have also in previous designs made a 5x5 five five, so a sort of a smaller version of the same thing and I found that that small version was just a little bit too small to really do anything with but I think if you're looking for a I guess like a first night sort of house that could be you know exactly what you're after certainly here I've got the whole you know surviving the first night thing licked so I'm really just looking to I guess if you follow the videos of Paul Sauce Jr. I'm looking for this, the Thrive part now. I've survived. It's time to kick things up a notch and really start living it up. Beautiful. Come on. Sapling, sapling, saplings. Too impatient. Come on. Just give me one more. Oh wow, tree's grown already. I'm not sure how the calculations for growing of trees works in this, but it does seem to be that sometimes trees grow really quick and sometimes trees grow really slow. To be honest, I don't care which way they grow, I just... Whew, that was lucky. Yeah, I don't particularly care whether they grow fast or whether they grow slow. I just like there to be lots of trees that grow so that I can have lots of wood to build my houses with. And 64 is definitely plenty. So we'll keep this going now. Use that block to knock it up one more level. Where'd my axe go? There we are. Axe. Now my one little torch on top will stop mobs from spawning. Then inside you can put a torch up in the ceiling which doesn't block out too much light sorry doesn't give out too much light so you end up with a nice sort of a mood lighting in here that makes it feel homely but is still enough that mobs won't spawn or at least that's been my experience so far that mobs don't spawn come on grow melons Let's head back over and see what our little mob trap has collected for us. Run, 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 run. Hopefully I'll come over here now and there should be maybe maybe one creeper on there. But then lots and lots of dead things. So take that down. Nothing like mixing it up, keeping things looking different. 
Oh, come on, there's got to be more than one bone. Can definitely hear zombies. Okay. I did something wrong because I should have certainly got more than one bone then. While I'm here though, I'll. Ah, oh, I forgot my shovel, never mind. While I'm here, I'll collect some sand. And I think I need six pieces of sand to make a window, so that's three, four, five, six, excellent. Can count, achievement get. That's plenty for now. Oh, one more. Okay, so we'll back it up. Cactus back down. Run. <coughs> well, that's a really good sign. That looks like three watermelons up there. Fast run, fast run, fast run, fast run, fast run, fast run, fast run. Okay, I've just done a quick time check and realised that I've passed the 15 minutes I was aiming for with this video. So I will stop it right there. Actually, what I will do just before I stop it is I will take some of my... Okay, I have no coal. Never mind, what I will do is I will throw some wooden planks in here and I will cook up some sand and when I come back for the next video I will turn that sand into glass turn the glass into glass panes, finish my house and then see how we go from there. Thanks very much. Stay tuned.